So currently, precursor multiple myeloma is divided into two separate precursor states. The first is MGUS, or monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance, and that's based on an M spike, so an M protein in the blood that determines that there's a monoclonal tumor cell. Um, to differentiate that from smoldering multiple myeloma, we look at the, pla the plasma cell percentage in the bone marrow, or we say, is the M spike greater than 3.0 grams per deciliter? And if the M spike is greater than 3.0 grams per deciliter, or the bone bone marrow plasma cell percentage is 10% or greater, then we say they have smoldering multiple myeloma. And smoldering multiple myeloma is a, has a giant variation in it because it basically extends from the 10% plasma cells in the bone marrow to 60% plasma cells in the bone marrow. And when we look at smoldering patients, they have a whole variety of phenotypes based on their clonal, bur clonal burden, including different uh, cytogenetic abnormalities. So when we're looking at the, di the way that smoldering multiple myeloma progresses to multiple myeloma, we're not only looking at overt end organ damage, but also how the clonal uh, tumor cells are developing into more dangerous and more invasive subtypes.